Hi all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an algo for Sarada Broker. Okay. So first to go to the website mkcodes.com, click sign up and enter your details. Okay. I'm entering email ID, password. Okay, registration completed. Check your email. It is mostly on spam folder. Okay, check your spam folder. Okay, I got the verification mail. Click. Okay, email address is confirmed. Now I just log in into my website using the login details. Okay, logged in successfully. Then go to the plans, subscribe, try trial. After that, go to downloads and click Sarada. Okay, and full scalper version 6.6. .6. That one download. Here you enter your Sarada client ID. Okay. This is already added. Okay. Click I am not robot and download okay okay the file is downloaded click double click Okay, click add or edit API details. Here you need to enter your API details. Okay, so first I enter my client ID HP 1879. This is my client ID, and it will ask your API key. So just go to the site guide.trade. And if you are new to this site, you click sign up. I have already registered here, so I just click login. Here I have already created my API key. So if you are new to this website, you just click create a new app and here you enter your API details and here enter any website like HTTP is my website name mkcodes.com and here you enter your client ID, my client ID is HP1979, here you enter any description, first I'll go or anything and click create, okay, it will ask you to pay at 2000 rupees. So if you pay the, the 2000 rupees, the AP will be created. Okay. After that, you will get a AP like this. Here, if you click here, you will get the AP key and AP secret. If you want to use indicators of past data, that means previous day or any other data that is one or two days before, you need to subscribe historical AP. Otherwise, it's not needed. It also costs 2000 so if you subscribe APA and historical APA, APA uh, you, you need to pay uh, 4000 so that you can use all your indicators etc okay okay after creating APA you just copy the APA key and APA secret and this is the email ID we used to sign up into my website mkcodes.com okay so you just enter that web's email id in case and last one is the password we used okay in my website after entering all the fields click insert all okay and click log here you need to 
here you need to enter your request token okay there is a link for request token okay i will given the link of request token in my video description uh, this is the link for uh, generating request token for my api key okay this is for my this is my api key and you just uh, remove this and enter your api key at the end okay after that you just to copy this url and paste okay it will redirect to uh, a url with the request token here you can see the request token and this is the token just to generate copy that request token and paste here and click login okay our scalper is open this is the software we can change the theme to blue and font size to 9 point okay this is our scalper Here we have if you have not subscribed uh, uh, the historical data and the we have logged in now at uh, 2 on 27 pm so we can use data after this time that means on 27 the data that is come that comes after on 27 okay on, on 27 pm okay okay click nifty Okay, we have the chart is long, nifty chart is loaded. Uh, just touch it paper trading and click any strike and click buy. You can see the position and if you click exit, you can exit the position. Okay, just uh, disable paper trading and go to my Saroda broker page. Here I have 3000 in my account and it is September future. Okay, this is the EMA of high price I used. Uh, if you want, you can change to EMA of low okay. we can't use EMA right uh, now because we haven't subscribed used uh, we are not using historical data we haven't subscribed historical data so we can't use any indicators uh, using data of previous previous data that means we can't use previous data because we can use only the data after we have logged in okay here you can see uh, the from what time the data is available on 27 okay if you check one minute time frame mm, okay this is this is a third candle from last one is the the data we have okay from 127 pm so wait to uh, wait a few minutes so that uh, we get we get we will get more data okay after that we can use indicators to that we can use any other option like close price okay here i, I want to click an option here you can see the margin required to buy this option option okay so i just click this one and click buy okay order placed and you can see the profit here position
Okay, if you click this exit button, the water will be exit. Okay. Here you can see 43.3 is our buy price and 41.45 is our sell price. Okay. Here today now we have that data since uh, on 27 pm okay and now the time is 1 32 okay so we can create a EMA of 5 period EMA we can create 5 period EMA of 1 minute candle okay so uh, let's see how to place the order using 5 period EMA here we want to place uh, then f nifty future close less than or equal to ema of nifty future comma one minute candle one comma uh, five five means five period ema and here we have used law of the candle okay below okay so if the nifty future goes below uh, 5 period EMA of low it will place order okay okay order is placed because it's already below the EMA and order is placed okay we can edit this drop loss and the target also here you just click the position and SR10 target Okay, I'm squaring up the position. Okay, I hope you all understand how to place orders using EMA. You can again enable the strategy. Okay, and then click active. So if it goes below the EMA again, it will place order again. Okay. We are not using any historical data here just using the data that comes after we have logged in if you have historical subscription you can use any indicator values like uh, uh, EMA of 10 minutes or 15 minutes any any time period okay Okay, we can again place the order again as it reaches below the EMA of low. We can, we can repeat this strategy for every two minutes. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm squaring up the position. You can see the water. Placing a position. Three one two is my profit.
I hope you all understand how to set up Argo for Sarada Broker. If you have any queries, please let me know in comments. Thank you for watching.